Hi guys, uh, this is one question which was posted by my student. I do not know the source of this question. Is This is not my question. So please uh, be sure to visit uh, www.alevelmath.org uh, to download and to view these questions. All right? So without further ado, let's see how can we solve this question. All right, now, you're asked to integrate from uh, two, root, uh, 2 over root 3 to 2 uh, for this expression, dt, um, to... To and and you're asked to leave it in the exact form, right? Uh, so please, please, really do uh, uh, click on the link in the description below to to look at the full question, right? So first, first off, first you should really use your GDC and see how this graph looks like and see whether there's a negative uh, area or not. So so just 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 to be sure that uh, it doesn't cut. So when you sketch your GDC, you should you're supposed to get uh, graph as such right so you know that actually there's no negative uh, area so you don't have to worry about uh, the intercept x intercept so then you can just uh, start so now let's look at this so i will try and just in do um, uh, the integration without the uh, boundaries first so that to further simplify stuff all right now Let's look at this. So at a glance, you have two expression here. So uh, there's no way you can actually uh, mix them up and, and manipulate it in such a way that you can um, they are integrate it, right? So uh, you should use by parts, right? So for for the u, you should use ln t because uh, we unable to integrate the ln t. Uh, unless you use by part of course right but but in this case q is long t because we know that we could easily differentiate uh, u uh, long t which is 1 over t right so on the other hand uh, dv dt is given by t over t square minus 1 3 over 2 right so to get your v you're actually integrating t t square minus 1 3 over 2 uh, dt okay here to integrate this we can because you do, do you see that uh, the t square minus 1 uh, the differential is actually uh, is actually a multiply of the express the numerator on top right so what we're gonna do is actually just to uh, do this the f prime method the method of substitution actually so t square minus 1 3 over 2 this is your fx and this is actually your f prime uh, so this is your uh, ft and this is your f prime t right so once you get this ready you are able to integrate it and you get the expression um, half okay I'll make it clearer which is dt t squared minus 1 3 over 2 negative this we will get the integral of this which is uh, minus 2 plus 1 which is minus half bring it out these two is actually cancelled with each other so we'll get this expression all right okay so now that you can actually integrate this and you get this expression you can proceed to this integration question over here so it's a uv u times v which is actually my ln t over square root of t square minus 1 all right uh, square root and then we would have negative v du dt which is actually um, negative 1 over t t minus uh, t square 1 of half right which is square root 2 square root this is right okay now once you get this expression so what we're going to do is actually to integrate this now at a glance uh, okay so I'll, I'll just just look at this this integral over here, this integration over here, is not that straightforward, right? So actually, you just need to use a substitution. Now, if you were to draw a 
right angle triangle, you realize that to get uh, the t square minus 1 square root, this is the square root t square minus 1, right? You have to have t, because if you want to get a square root t square minus 1, this has to be the hypotenuse, right? And this has to be 1. So you let theta tangent um, uh, tangent theta is given by square root t square minus 1. So you use this substitution to uh, this. You can refer to my other videos on how to do this kind of substitution and you get the answer. Okay, this is method one. If you want to do you, you, this for this, this integration, you can use this method. But if you want to do it straight from here, what you need to do is actually to manipulate it okay, smartly. So what you can do is actually uh, this would be t square 1 minus 1 over t square to the power of half. All right. So once you manipulate it, you get ln t square t square minus this will eventually be uh, just t uh, square 1 and uh, d t uh, this will be square alright, do you see that? now, do you see that this is actually your ft x so this is ft and this is uh, this is actually okay i'll just rearrange this same thing method of substitution t square of half 1 minus 1 t square dt no this is your ft this is your ft prime see that ft and ft prime so if you were to integrate that actually from your mf15 So from MF15, you know that uh, the integral of uh, the integral, sorry, the integral of uh, integral of one over square root a square minus x square dx is given by inverse sine inverse x over a, right? So from here, we know that actually this would be given by minus 1 plus 1. So it will be a half, alright? Differentiating this would give us... Uh, would give us... Would give us, for example, if this is equal to 1 over t, this f prime t will be given by uh, negative 1 t squared, right? So in other words, this will be a negative sign in front. So you would finally get this expression over here, which is actually negative sine inverse x, which is 1 over t, 1 over t. All right. Now, because this is a definite integral, initially this is a definite integral, so uh, this is not it, OK? So a definite integral. What you need to do is basically just uh, add on the boundary condition. So I'm just going to add on the boundary condition. Um, okay, this over here. T, D, T. Uh, I'm just going to substitute in. This is normal. Alright. This should be okay okay negative so it'll be positive ln 2 third t square okay from here is just your normal manipulation right uh, sine inverse uh, root 3 over 2 okay uh, this will give us a. Uh, this is actually root three, so actually one over root three. Round two, sine inverse of half would give me. Uh, it's a special angle. Half actually would give me uh, pi over six. 
and this would give me a loan two three simplifying this four over three minus one will give me one third so it's one over one over root three and sign inverse root three over two would give me um what is it the expression would be pi over three right so in this case uh, simplifying it would be this would be root three over three two pi over six plus root three long two um minus root three long three half okay now i'm just simplifying it for hopefully that this is one minus one minus one third which is two third right so i can leave my two third in front two third in front and uh this would just be plus pi over 6 minus root 3 over 2 ln 3 okay okay uh, if you have any question or comments please do leave down uh, in the uh, question the comment box below uh if i've made any mistake please yeah do comment all right uh because i just uh roughly do it on this spot okay okay thank you very much and uh, have a good rest